Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, the video today is just a short video uh, updating you on how I'm getting on with my study for the Herrick exam, which is one month from today. Um, just my ups and downs, and uh, hopefully some of you guys out there studying as well might uh, might be able to relate. So look, hope you enjoy the video. It's just a short one. And of course, guys, if you like what you see, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe. So the evolution of my study so far for the Herrick exam basically started like this. So first of all, like everybody else, I went, I'm sure, went to the uh, IRTS website and found that you have the uh, course guide there. It's a 125 page document. I downloaded this and I printed it. Uh, I actually printed it in its two sections or put it in its two separate sections, section A and section B. And that was the way I was intending to go at it. I initially uh, decided, right, I'm going to summarize all the notes on flashcards and then keep reading through them and try to memorize things and obviously do the do some test questions along the way. So I did that with section A and I ended up with actually, section A is 38 or 39 pages. I actually ended up, funny enough, with 38 or 39 uh, flashcard summarizing that. Now by the time I got to the end of section A and looked at the size of section B which is twice or more the size I realized there's going to be another 50, 60, 70 of these flashcards to do section B. I'm never going to have the time to do it and it's just way too much to read through to be honest and learn off. Um, and that was my first approach and as I say when I got to the end of section A doing this way I thought that's just not going to work out. So in the meantime, uh, I had uh, joined the Facebook page for the IRTS also, and a post came up on the Facebook page uh, for an actual Facebook group uh, dedicated to the people like myself doing the uh, Herrick exam here in Ireland. Uh, it seems to be a Tony uh, call sign Echo India 5 Echo Mike. He's actually the main moderator from what I can tell of the, of the Facebook group. And so I joined that also, and it's a great place to share. Uh, some people are sharing, maybe if they've done the exams in the past, they're sharing what they know, and obviously some of the guys who are very experienced sharing questions, and a uh, very open group. Everybody can ask the questions they want to ask about the exam. Really beneficial, I have to say. Um, and that's where I was next. So being part of this group, um, there was some great information coming in, uh, people who remembered questions from when they previously did the exam, uh, people also shared um, links to websites where there were sample exam papers or sample question pools, which was great. And it started to open my eyes to the fact that, right, OK, maybe I could change the way that I'm coming at this. And traditionally, I would have always studied by doing past exam papers. But in the case uh, of the IRTS and the, the Herrick exam in Ireland, there is only one sample paper on the website, which I understand because I'm sure there's a limited uh, question pool. Uh, so there is only one published actual exam. So skipping on another bit, I had also started my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, uh, Irish Ham Radio. And uh, Robbie, Echo India 2 India Papa, shared my YouTube channel on the IRTS Facebook page, which generated a, a little bit of interest in it, which was great. And thank you very much, Robbie, for that. Now, what it also prompted a few people to do, uh, namely Jason, Echo India 6, Golf Romeo Bravo and Rev Echo India 9 Echo Yankee Bravo uh, to contact me directly and share some information uh, on exams and study techniques and things like that as well and some stuff on uh, web SDRs and uh, some brilliant stuff and some advice and like I'd really like to thank them guys for contacting me directly because uh, the route that I'm now on has uh, absolutely been influenced by that. So what is the route that I am on now you may ask? Well basically Although sample questions are great, um, the thing I find about the sample questions online is that they still didn't mimic the actual format of the Irish exam. Um, now, look, that's, that's maybe just that's just me, you know, but I, I find it very difficult to sort of go through just random questions. I felt I needed to try to put something almost in the same sort of order or close as possible to what is actually going to be on section A and section B and as close as possible to the order it'll be on it in section A and section B in the Irish exam. So so what I'm doing is using the sample paper um, that, that comes on the IRTS website, I'm going through all the questions 
um, and I'm sort of grouping them into groups. And I'm so, for example, one large group is obviously the band plan questions. So the way I see it, using the sample paper, uh, the band plan questions kind of are going to be question three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen, and eighteen, roughly. Um, so I've tried to kind of uh, on band plan questions. I've sort of covered here on maybe one, two, three, four. Um, for uh, flashcards. Uh, for example, then another section would be Q codes, phonetics, and abbreviations questions. And the way I see that, that's questions 12, 15, 17, and 19. So again, I take the actual questions off the sam sample paper and I sort of write out uh, notes and answers of what I think may be asked. So I'm trying to sort of look at the one question that you're asked here then look at that part of the notes and see what other questions you could be asked very similar to that. Because generally from what I'm getting, the exam follows relatively the same sort of plan all the way through, just some of the values change, you know? So that's kind of, that's what I'm doing at the minute and that narrows down how many, how much notes and how much stuff I need to learn. Um, look, um, that's where I'm at with it guys. Uh, I just thought I'd just put up a little video explaining where I'm at. I am not saying that what I'm doing is the right way of doing it. I'm doing the best I can. I'm sure the rest of you are the same as myself. Time is a big issue. Uh, I mean, you know, there's no way you could learn off 125 pages. Everybody has to find their own way of doing it. So, um, look, I thought it might be interesting for people to, to hear how, how my experience with the study has evolved. I suppose we'll find out sometime after the 15th of August whether it works or not. Um, and as I've always said from the start, look, at uh, there's a lot in this exam. I absolutely won't be too shocked if I don't get it first time you know if I have to do it again I have to do it again that's fair enough you know um but this is the way I'm going at it for now and uh, we'll see how it goes so that's it so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video um maybe you can sympathize or empathize with me if you're studying as well so look at take it easy in seven threes